हेलो स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज रितेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल योर क्लासरूम एट होम इफ यू रियली वांट टू इंक्रीज योर मैथमेटिक्स स्किल्स सो प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल स्टूडेंट इन टुडेस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए गुड क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन क्वेश्चन सेज इफ थीटा 1 थीटा 2 थीटा 3 एंड सो ऑन आर इन ए टी इफ थीटा 1 थीटा टू थीटा थ्री थीटा एन आर इन ए पी आर इन ए पी एंड कॉमन डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस एपी इज डी एंड द कॉमन डिफरेंस ऑफ द एपी is d then show that then show that sec theta 1 into sec theta 2 sec theta 1 into sec theta 2 plus sec theta 2 into sec theta 3 plus dot dot sec theta n minus 1 into sec theta n is equals to tan theta n minus tan theta 1 upon sin d tan theta n minus tan theta 1 upon sin d here student left hand side of this trigonometric equation can be written as sec theta 1 into sec theta 2 can be written as 1 upon cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 1 upon cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 plus this term can be written as cos theta 2 into cos theta 3 this term can be written as 1 upon cos theta n minus 1 into cos theta n now student multiplying and dividing the left hand side of this trigonometric equation by sin d which implies that 1 upon sin d sin d upon cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 sin d upon cos theta 2 into cos theta 3 sin d upon cos theta n minus 1 into cos theta n further implies that 1 upon sin d here common difference is d d can be written as theta 2 minus theta 1 or theta 3 minus theta 2 and so on so replace d here by theta 2 minus theta 1 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 upon cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 plus here d can be replaced by theta 3 Minus theta two sine theta three minus theta two upon cos theta two into cos theta three plus here d can further be changed as sine theta n minus theta n minus one upon 
cos theta n minus 1 into cos theta n. It is further implied that 1 upon sin d sin theta 2 minus theta 1 can be open as sin a minus b can be written as sin a cos b minus cos a sin b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b by using this property open sin theta 2 minus theta 1 as sin theta 2 into cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 into sin theta 1 upon cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 plus we can open sin theta 3 minus theta 2 as sin theta 3 into cos theta 2 minus cos theta 3 sin theta 2 upon cos theta 2 into cos theta 3 cos theta 2 cos theta 3 plus dot dot the open sin theta n minus theta n minus 1 sin theta n cos theta n minus 1 minus cos theta n into sin theta n minus 1 upon cos theta n minus 1 into cos theta n cos theta n minus 1 into cos theta n now break this part as 1 upon sin d sin theta 2 into cos theta 1 upon cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 minus cos theta 2 into sin theta 1 upon cos theta 1 into cos theta 2. Similarly, break this part as sin theta 3 into cos theta 2 upon cos theta 2 into cos theta 3 minus cos theta 3 into sin theta 2 upon cos theta 2 into cos theta 3 plus dot dot this can be further break as sin theta n into cos theta n minus 1 upon cos theta n minus 1 into cos theta n minus cos theta n into sin theta n minus 1 upon cos theta n minus 1 into cos theta n cos theta 1 and cos theta 1 will cancel out cos theta 2 and cos theta 2 will cancel out similarly these two terms will also cancel out cos theta 3 and cos theta 3 will also cancel out cos theta n minus 1 and cos theta n minus 1 is further cancel out similarly these two terms are also cancel out now 1 upon sin d this will be sin theta 2 upon cos theta 2 is tan theta 2 tan theta 2 minus this will be sin theta 1 upon cos theta 1 is tan theta 1 tan theta 1 plus this will be tan theta 3 minus tan theta 2 plus 
this will be tan theta n tan theta n minus this will be tan theta n minus 1 so student here there are n terms 1 2 3 dot dot 2 n terms here student we notice that the first term of the previous part is cancelled out by the second term of the next part so student when we open these brackets these terms will cancel out so here tan theta 3 is cancelled out by the second term of the next part similarly this term will cancel out by the first term of the second last part when we open these brackets it implies that 1 upon sin d now there will be remaining two terms minus tan theta 1 and plus tan theta n minus tan theta 1 plus tan theta n so 1 upon sin d this can be written as tan theta n minus tan theta 1 this is our required result so student in today's lecture i have solved a good question related to arithmetic progression so keep watching my videos and keep practicing thank you take care